I just had the chance to talk to Franz from Expandia and he shared one hour worth of productivity tips, which got me super excited. I went straight to try a few things. And one of those things I wanted to share with you because I find that is very applicable for pretty much everyone and super, super useful. So let's, let's talk about that. It's the idea of setting different search engines in your web browser and also to use the powers of your web browser to find things even within your own computer. Let me show you how to get there. So here I am in the Chrome settings. So if you find the search engine section, you will see that at the end it says manage search engines and sites search. So expand that and you will see that you know, first you will see what you expect that, you know, you can choose different search engines like Google, Microsoft Bing, and so on and so forth, which is fine. You may have different reasons for choosing different uh, search engines, uh, but past that also, there is more stuff that you can add there. And the way it works is as follows. First, you see that there are some, um, some rows in this table that, um, you know, have this at symbol, you know, in, in the short in the short uh, in the um, shortcut column, right? So those are things that come already with my web browser. Here I'm using Chrome, of course. Uh, so that means that I can use that at bookmarks, at Gemini, or at history, or at tabs to search specifically within those things, and that's pretty cool. So let me show you how the workflow goes. So say that we're here on a web browser with Control T. I can open a new tab now with if I am already on the on the um, navigation bar then that's fine otherwise with control D you know sorry with uh, alt D you know we get there right and now at B already and tab already we populate bookmarks if I do at T and tab it would search inside tabs and if I do at G it would search in Gemini in which already gives me the idea of the possibility to start chatting with it. I can say something like, do I have an, any unread email from today? So Gemini will now <laughs> go to my inbox and tell me if there is anything uh, unread. Um, no, there is nothing unread. <laughs> That's pretty cool and pretty scary too. Uh, but let's go back to the idea of um, different um, other things like for example bookmarks is extremely useful particularly if you have been uh, so let's do at the tab and now I'm gonna say Carl so Carl is the short name for a calendar so I you know store the URL that points to my calendar uh, into a bookmark and I gave it the name Carl for short so that means that already with a couple of tabs I can get to the tab that I want um, so the tabs, how it works, Control T opens a new tab, uh, Alt D, if I'm not there, it will send me to the navigation bar, Add T and Tab will search into tabs, and I can start typing, say, chat. So chat, that will send me to ChatTTP or to LinkedIn, you know, that will send me to the tab that is right there. Okay, so that is very powerful, you know, allows me to find things in the history of my web browser, in my bookmarks, in my tabs. So it really increases the speed and, and the yeah, effectiveness of, of my searches. So uh, and another thing that uh, I find extremely cool is the ability to start prompting some AIs or some chatbots that allow you to pass um, your prompt directly as as queries and one of those is, is Gemini as I showed you before but there's others too fast GTP is, is one of those so uh, how I uh, configure uh, this is as follows so let me click here on edit so what you give is a URL which is the uh, everything that comes before the actual query that you're gonna make and then you replace the query with this percent s so fast gtp leaves at this url and if you visit it so let's let's just go in the normal workflow if i go to kagi.com slash fast gtp this is the interface that you get but when you start typing here you say, say i don't know who are you 
So if I do that, you can see how the web browser navigation bar puts my query right there. So all I need to do is I remove that and replace it with percent %s, and that's all I need to go to my settings and create that uh, new way of searching things. Now I send a shortcut, in my, in my case f, but it could be anything, and you know, a meaningful name. So I'm gonna save that, and now if I go to a new tab with control T, and if I'm not there, I can do alt D to go to the navigation bar, with F and either space or tab, I already get pre-populated that you know, search fast GDP. And here I can say, uh, who are you? And fast GDP uh, will, will reply. So that automatically populates the, the prompt and you know, Kagi already responds. So I think that's enough to get the, the ideas going. Um, I found it extremely uh, cool. I already um, used before something you know, kind of similar to get to my uh, bookmarks, which I use a lot, which is this um, extension for Chrome called Bookmark Search. But I like from this that it's something native and it, uh, and it works not only in, in Chrome, but in other web browsers too, uh, and also, allows me to search not only my bookmarks, but also other things inside my computer, like my history, my um, tabs, and also allows me to interact with um, GDPs directly from, from the, uh, the navigation bar. Super cool, I hope you like it.